Here I am at Tesco, but for once, I'm not here for particularly reasonably priced fruit and vegetables, because today I want to talk to you about how you charge your car in a Tesco supermarket. But before I do all of that, please do let us know in the comments about your experiences charging at Tesco. And if you have any questions at all about charging your car or electric vehicles in general, then please do pop over to electrifying.com and like and subscribe on the video, because we're interested in what you think. So, if you want to charge at Tesco, first you have to find a Tesco, which isn't that difficult because there are loads of them. And then if you want to find one that's EV friendly, that's not that difficult either because over 500 Tesco Extra and Tesco Superstores have chargers installed. And if that's still a problem, then you could just use one of these mobile phone thingamies and use this, which is the find a store near me or go on their website to find the addresses. The charging stations themselves are actually run by a company called Podpoint, who you might have already heard of, and generally they'll look a bit like this, or this, or this. Pretty sweet, huh? Now, interestingly, the whole Tesco Podpoint thing is also run in conjunction with Volkswagen, but you don't have to have a VW to use the charging stations. Although, obviously, I have, because I like to stay on brand. Now these chargers in Tesco stores used to be free to charge, but not anymore. I have heard stories that some are still free to vend, but if I find any, I'm not going to tell anyone. These days, you're looking at 7 kilowatt fast chargers, which, at the time of us filming this, cost 28 pence per kilowatt hour. 22 kilowatt chargers like this one, which cost 40p per kilowatt hour, and the bigger 50 kilowatt rapid chargers, which cost 50p per kilowatt hour. You're paying more for a faster charge, obviously. Note there that the slowest chargers, the 7 kilowatts, are actually pretty cheap and possibly cheaper than you pay at home per kilowatt hour, so probably worth doing. But you also need to check that the car park you're in doesn't have a parking charge or a time limit on parking. Although you do have to be a Tesco customer, so make sure you pit stop in store. After that, it should be fairly obvious which one you're plugging into, and it's fair to say that most pure electric cars these days can deal with 50 kilowatts plus of DC charging, so no worries there but it's always worth checking what charger you're using is the most appropriate so that you don't block one for someone else. In terms of the actual act, then once you've found a free space, you need to access the Podpoint app or the website. Now, if you're in an area of really bad reception, you can actually ring someone at a different place and ask them to put in the details. It's not ideal, but it does work. It's a little bit of an electric car hack for you. Now, the Podpoint app is actually the easiest way to go. And all you do is open the app on your mobile phone and then identify where you are. So I've come to Tesco Extra in Hatfield, and then if I swipe up, it shows me where I am, what the charges are, whether they're available, and what power output they have. And the app will also record all the details of your charge for checking out later. And that goes for all Podpoint chargers, not just the supermarket-based ones. But now, I have to connect the car. Now that I've finished suspiciously hanging out in the back of my car, I need to take my cable and attach the charger to the vehicle, which actually is quite easy if you get the plug the wrong way around. There we go, lift the flap, pop that in. Now, all I have to do is stand by the charger and identify a couple of easy things. So swipe up, go to the Podpoint app, and it'll have a double barreled name on every charger. So this one's called Stan Meyer. And on my little setup here, I can see Stan Meyer. So, and Stan Meyer has two outputs, A and B. So I'm on the B side. It also says that here. It's, it's really quite simple. And all I have to do is press confirm charge. And if I press that, charge confirmed. And we're away. Now that goes for all different pod point chargers and it really is that simple. You do have to add a little bit of credit to your account in the first place, which is a bit cheeky, but I suppose they do have to protect themselves. One thing I, uh, I have noticed though, you get 15 minutes to confirm your charge, but as soon as you plug in, the car actually receives current. So if you were to wait 14 minutes before you confirmed it, then you get 14 minutes. Anyway, I'll just leave that up to your own thoughts. Once the charge is done, you just stop the charge in the car or on the station or app, disconnect and off you pop. 
Some of the more powerful rapid chargers also have contactless payment, which works exactly the same as all other contactless payments in that you plug your car in, tap, and off you pop. These ones also have Chadamo chargers for things like Nissan Leafs. Handy. Honestly, it's a pretty simple system, though probably better for quick top-ups while you buy bananas rather than full-on charging. And most car parks will have a parking time limit anyway, though who spends an hour and a half in Tesco? Don't answer that. So there you have it, a very quick guide to charging at a Tesco supermarket via PodPoint. There are a load of these little explainers for all sorts of charging pit stops over on electrifying.com. So if you get stuck, have a look over there and we'll try to help you out. In the meantime, happy charging.